Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the Motor Drive with Failure Modes demo model. This Plex demo model examines a current controlled permanent magnet machine with drive fault mitigation strategies. When operating in flux weakening mode, a fault mitigation strategy may be required as the rectified back EMF may be larger than the DC link voltage. Therefore, simply disabling the power stage in response to fault conditions that result in loss of power to the inverter may not be an option. Fault conditions could include loss of an auxiliary power supply or microprocessor trip. In this simulation, failure mitigation strategies of closing all the lower inverter switches or opening the battery pack contactor are investigated. The circuit includes a battery, modeled as an ideal DC voltage source, that feeds a three-phase inverter and permanent magnet assisted synchronous reluctance machine, or in other words, a permanent magnet machine with high saliency. The machine is operating at a constant speed, which you will notice is assigned a variable name. All parameters for the model are defined using the octave language syntax in the model initialization parameters accessible via the simulation menu. Clicking on the machine icon, we see it is configured to use the voltage behind reactants implementation. This will allow for the simulation of fault conditions during which the phase voltages are no longer defined by the inverter. A contactor between the battery and the DC bus is also included and is represented by an ideal electrical switch. Direct and quadrature current set points are provided to the current controller. The controller implementation is based on a digital synchronous frame regulator where there is decoupling based on motor speed. State limiting and anti windup mechanisms are included in the regulator too. Proportional integral controllers are implemented for current regulation in the D and Q axes using a Plex C script block. The gains of the controllers and the system decoupling are based on the motor parameters of speed, inductance, and state of resistance. Finally, space vector pulse width modulation is used to generate the output voltage of the inverter. A configurable dead time is also included to prevent shorting of the DC bus. The direct axis current set point is held constant at negative 200 amps to operate the machine in flux weakening mode. The torque producing quadrature current set point is set to step up in value from 0 amps to 100 amps. As mentioned, when operating in flux weakening mode, the rectified back EMF is larger than the DC link voltage. Simply disabling the power stage would result in an uncontrolled current flow from the machine into the battery and an uncontrolled braking torque on the load. A fault mitigation strategy for this situation will be required to prevent this unregulated power flow into the battery. The power stage control subsystem can be configured to mitigate this fault condition with two different strategies. One fault mitigation strategy is to open the battery contactor when a power failure is detected. Opening the battery contactor would result in charging up the DC link capacitor until the bus voltage is equal to the rectified back EMF of the PM machine. This may have the effect of damaging the semiconductor devices, bus capacitors, and all other systems connected to the DC bus, yet it will prevent the current generated by the back EMF from flowing back into the battery pack. Another fault mitigation strategy is to short the machine phases by closing all the lower switches of the inverter. The back EMF of the machine would result in large motor currents that would produce a decaying oscillatory torque. In this strategy, keeping the battery contactor open or closed has no effect as the machine currents are not flowing back into the DC link, though the large currents may require oversizing of the semiconductor devices. If we run the simulation with the model as provided, we can see that halfway through the simulation a fault is introduced into the system. The power stage is simply turned off by opening all the inverter switches. This results in the aforementioned current flow from the machine into the battery and the braking torque on the load. Double-clicking on the power stage control subsystem allows you to test the different mitigation strategies included with this model. We welcome you to try this yourself. This concludes the video on the Motor Drive with Failure Modes demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com.